Martin Hurry, Blues Guitar Licks. Hey, how are you? It's Martin Hurry. Uh, today I will I will share with you this concept of uh, enclosures and chromatic notes when we play blues. Yeah, it's a, in a con in a blues context. Of course, this system uh, comes from jazz, and your blues playing will sound more modern using this system. Yes, and it's it's simple and it's beautiful. Yes. So let's say we are going to play in the key of B. Yes, a blues or a, a shuffle or whatever you know. Slow blues, yeah, I am playing an A 13th here. I like the sound of the 6th, yeah, but you can use 7th chord like this, like this, yeah. So the first thing we need to learn and play by heart are the arpeggios, yeah, arpeggio 7th, if we play a dominant blues, yeah, over 7th chord. When yeah, these are the chord tones. These are the notes when we play the arpeggio we use to build the chord. Yes, so it's a root, it's a major third, it's a fifth, it's a minor seventh, and the root. Major third, fifth, minor seventh, and the root. So uh, the concept of enclosure it's taking one of these chord tones and play the notes which are next to them, next to it, yeah, just if the, we have the major third here, we play the, the fourth and we play the minor third and we play the major third later, so look this, I have the major third here, yes, actually when I play the chord, when I play the seventh chord, look, with my pinky I'm playing the major third, or when you play this standard seventh chord, yeah, B seventh, yeah, play the major third. So the enclosure would be playing the fourth first, which is the note which is after, and then the note which is before the third, which is the minor third. And the third. We use this in blues all the time, yeah? yeah. So this is my core tone. This is the, the, the note of the chord, yeah, the major third. So I play the note after and before. And then I can continue playing pentatonic or more arpeggio if you want. Yeah? So I will give you first example. I play the enclosure and then I play pentatonic. Yeah, over seventh. sounds really bluesy, yeah? Uh, we can do the same work of enclosure, not only with the major third, we can use any, the minor seventh, the fifth, the, the fifth here, for example. No. Yeah. I play the, the fifth sharp, yes. The fifth flat, which is the blue note and the fifth, yeah, and I will give you another example, I will play uh, this enclosure using the fifth, and then I will finish the idea with some bluesy lick, yeah, yeah, really bluesy and jazzy, yeah, uh, of course with the root, yeah, or with the fifth here. Yeah. This is my fifth. Root, major, third, fifth. I have the major third here. I can do the enclosure here. Yeah. yeah. So, and I play the second option, which is the chromatic. So, when I play the the arpeggio, 
I can play both enclosures or chromatics. Chromatics are very, it's very simple. We just play the notes in between, the bridge notes to uh, between one and another note of the arpeggio, yes. Um, for example, root, major third, fifth, I have two notes, the major third and the fifth, so I can play the notes in between. Yeah? Minor seventh, major seventh, and root. So I will play now chromatics and blues pentatonic stuff, yeah? And you will listen to how it works, yeah? Yeah, I'm just play, doing this in position one, yes? You can just transpose and do this, play this in any of the five pat, uh, boxes of the Arpeggio 7th patterns or with the five boxes of the minor pentatonic scale, with the major scale, yeah? Just, you need to, you can create your own net, yes? So, um, chromatics, yes? Again, yeah? Between the fifth and the minor seventh, I play the notes in between. Now I'm playing both. I play chromatics and enclosures. As a major third. If you use pentatonic scale, blues, cool blues stuff, to mix all these, it sounds beautiful, yeah? It sounds very nice, yeah? enclosure and chromatic notes in a bluesy context, yeah? Uh, you will find uh, in the description of this video uh, a free PDF uh, to download the, the, the boxes of the Arpeggio 7th uh, with some notes. I will put just to, to, to remember you this concept of enclosure and chromatics. Of course, thank you to be here. Uh, if you like this video, like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, well, thank you very much. Remember also, I have a membership program. Uh, you, you will find the, the link to the membership in the description of this video too. Uh, and well, thank you very much, Martin Nuri. <laughs>